Ciao e benvenuto. Hello and welcome to Italian for Traveling. Let's learn some helpful Italian phrases to use when taking a train in Italy. How to purchase a ticket. Good morning. I would like to a ticket to Rome. Buongiorno. Vorrei un biglietto per Roma. How much does a ticket to Rome cost? Quanto costa un biglietto per Roma? And as you know, if you have already watched some other videos of this series that I have made, I like to explain what we're doing here, not just teaching you some phrases and tell you how you can customize these kind of phrases. So let me highlight this point. Whenever you want to ask how much something costs in Italian, you always start that sentence with quanto costa? So quanto costa is the beginning of any question like this in Italian and then you add the thing that you want to ask about. So quanto costa un biglietto is how you ask how much does a ticket cost? So notice that we put the verb before the thing, not after the thing like in English. So this is a good thing because you can just learn quanto costa and then add whatever thing you're asking for. So keep this in mind. Let's repeat this one. Quanto costa un biglietto per Roma? Perfetto. Can I buy the ticket online? Posso acquistare il biglietto online? Can I reserve a seat? Posso prenotare un posto a sedere? Notice how prenotare, which means to book in Italian, is also used as to reserve. So you can use this verb for both cases. Prenotare. Where can I find the ticket vending machine? Dove posso trovare la macchinetta automatica per i biglietti? And I know macchinetta automatica is a mouthful, but remember, if you slow down, you can say this too. So slow down. Macchinetta automatica. Per- perfetto. Uh, another thing I want to point out. This, fra- this, the beginning of this question, dove posso trovare, which means where can I find, you can use this too for anything else. So anytime you want to ask where can I find this or that, just ask dove posso trovare, and then add the thing, the place you're looking for, even the person you're looking for. Va bene? Perfetto. Can I pay with a credit card? Posso pagare con la carta di credito? Can I purchase the ticket through the app? Posso acquistare il biglietto con la app? Perfetto. What is the name of the app to buy tickets online? Come si chiama la app per acquistare i biglietti online? And you will notice that we, in Ita- you probably have already noticed that we in Italian use a, quite a few English words, especially related to technology. So when we talk about technology, we tend to use a lot of English words in Italian. Uh, I just wanted you to notice that uh, we say la app, uh, we, sh- we have a word for that, it's applicazione, but no one really says that. First of all, because it's quite of a mouthful, takes time, and second, because, you know, that's how we learn that for technology, to say app. So we say la app. Va bene? Perfetto. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and also click on the bell and select all. That means that you're going to be notified anytime I publish a new video, so you will receive a notification for all of my videos. Andiamo avanti. Let's move on. Types of tickets. 
I need a one-way ticket to Rome. Vorrei un biglietto di sola andata per Roma. So, biglietto is ticket and di sola andata is the way we say one way in Italian. So, whenever we want to say one way ticket, that's biglietto di sola andata. It's like we're saying only going because andata comes from to go, andare. So, keep that in mind as a trick to memorize this. Two round trip tickets from Bologna to Milan, please. Due biglietti andata e ritorno da Bologna a Milano, per favore. So, if you want a round trip ticket, so you want a ticket for the way back to, then you need to ask for biglietto andata e ritorno. So, andata e ritorno means round trip in Italian. Because, as I explained to you just a moment ago, solo andata, sola andata means only going. Because andata comes from andare, to go. But if I want to tell you that I also want a ticket to come back, then I tell you andata e ritorno. Because ritorno is coming back. Ritorno is a word that comes from the verb ritornare, which literally means to come back. So remember, andata e ritorno. Going and coming. Round, that's how we say round trip in Italian. Can I have two second class tickets, please? Posso avere due biglietti di seconda classe, per favore? How much does a first class ticket cost? Quanto costa un biglietto in prima classe? Here's an example of what I, say, I was saying earlier. Quanto costa is how you ask how much some, does something cost. You just start the sentence with quanto costa and you add whatever you are asking for. So this is another example of what I was pointing out earlier. Timetables and train information. At what time does the train to Rome leave? A che ora parte il treno per Roma? How long is the journey to Rome? Quanto dura il viaggio per Roma? And here we have another helpful phrase to focus, which is quanto dura? Quanto dura is the Italian way of asking how long does it last? So that's how you ask how long something is. Quanto dura? In this case, il viaggio, the journey. Va bene? From which platform does the train to Rome leave? Da quale binario parte il treno per Roma? Is there a direct train to Rome? C'è un treno diretto per Roma? Which station in Rome should I get off at to get to the Trevi Fountain? A quale stazione di Roma devo scendere per arrivare alla Fontana di Trevi? Something I want you to notice here is the verb scendere. Scendere in Italian means to go down, to go downstairs and also to get off a vehicle. So you can use these for Uh, the train, scendere dal treno, but you can also use this for, for example, the taxi, scendere dal taxi, or your own car, scendere dalla macchina. Where can I find the train timetables? Dove posso trovare gli orari dei treni? Remember we talked about dove posso trovare? Here is another, another phrase where you can use this. Dove posso trovare gli orari? Gli orari means the timetables in Italian. What is the last train to Rome? Qual è l'ultimo treno per Roma? 
Do I need to change train at any station? Devo fare il cambio in qualche stazione? So what I want you to notice here is that to change train and to change train in Italian is fare il cambio. Of course it's implicit we're talking about a train, so fare il cambio del treno, but we don't really say that. We just say fare il cambio. And that means to change train. This is one of those situations where we use fare for translating an English verb. We have plenty of examples like those. And in this case, you need to learn not just the verb fare, which you, uh, of course is the, fo- the main verb, but you also need the rest of the phrase. So in this case, the whole phrase is fare il cambio. So fare il cambio means to change train. Is there a faster train to Rome? C'è un treno più veloce per Roma? Can I use my ticket on another train? Posso utilizzare il mio biglietto su un altro treno? What time does the train from Milan arrive? A che ora arriva il treno da Milano? And this is another helpful phrase to memorize. A che ora? A che ora? That means at what time? And then you add the event uh, you are asking for. Is there an overnight train to Rome? C'è un treno notturno per Roma? Is the train to Rome delayed? Uh, now, this is a good phrase to know because this happens, especially in, in the more touristic areas and in touristic seasons. And trains can be delayed, so it's good to know how to ask for this. Il treno per Roma è in ritardo? So remember, in ritardo means both delayed or to be late. So essere in ritardo means to be late or as in running late with your time, or to be delayed. What time does the next train to Rome leave? A che ora parte il prossimo treno per Roma? Again, the phrase a che ora, and then you add the rest. What time does the first train to Rome leave tomorrow morning? A che ora parte il primo treno per Roma domani mattina? How long does the train take to reach Rome? Quanto tempo impiega il treno per arrivare a Roma? And impiegare is one of the ways that we in Italian say to take in time. So this is one of the easiest to use because it's just a normal verb, a regular verb that you just conjugate as normal. So quanto tempo, how much time, impiega, does it take? Quanto tempo impiega? Is there a freccia rossa train to Rome? C'è un treno freccia rossa per Roma? And if you don't know what a freccia rossa is, freccia rossa is uh, the um, high speed train in Italy. So you have several freccia rossa trains going uh, through Italy in some uh, parts of Italy. Not all, not all areas of Italy are covered by freccia rossa, but if you want to go faster, you can ask for uh, freccia rossa because they are the high speed trains in Italy. How many stops are there before Rome? Quante fermate ci sono prima di Roma? Molto bene. Let's talk about services and additional information. Is there a discount for students? C'è uno sconto per gli studenti? So, uno sconto is how we say discount in Italian. Uno sconto. Is there a discount for seniors? C'è 
uno sconto per gli anziani? Where can I find the waiting room? Dove posso trovare la sala d'attesa? Sì, again, dove posso trovare? Can I use the free wifi here? Posso utilizzare il wifi gratuito qui? Perfetto. And I know that many people know that free in Italian is libero, but f- free as in free of cost is not libero in Italian, but is gratuito. So whenever you see here gratuito, that means free of cost. Can I bring my dog on the train? Posso portare il mio cane sul treno? Can I bring my bicycle on the train? Posso portare la mia bicicletta sul treno? Is there a cafe on the train? C'è un bar sul treno? Is there a restaurant on the train? C'è un ristorante sul treno? Where can I find the toilet? Dove posso trovare la toilette? And that's another way we say uh, the bathroom in Italian. We do say la toilette. Uh, it's considered a little bit more elegant to say dove posso trovare la toilette rather than saying dove posso trovare il bagno. But it, they are actually the same thing and it's perfectly fine to ask also dove posso trovare il bagno. I just want with these videos to show you as many options possible as possible because as I always say in all of the videos of this series, there's not just one way of saying something or asking something. There's not just one right way. You can phrase your questions and sentences in many, many different ways and they will all be pretty equivalent. Uh, and we have several, we, we may have several ways to express the same concept. So here's an example. You can either say la toilette or you can say il bagno. They're both correct and fine. Is there assistance available for people with disabilities? C'è un servizio di assistenza per le persone con disabilità? Is there a tourist information office at the station? C'è un ufficio informazioni turistiche in stazione? And I know this is another mouthful, like it's hard to pronounce, so just practice this by slowing down. Ufficio informazioni turistiche. Practice this at this speed a few times and you will notice they will become easier and you will gain confidence in saying this longer word or any other longer and complex Italian word. Can I change my ticket? Posso cambiare il mio biglietto? Is there a weight limit for luggage? C'è un limite di peso per i bagagli? Can I get a refund if my train is cancelled? Posso ottenere un rimborso se il mio treno viene cancellato? So a good word to know here is rimborso. Rimborso means refund in Italian. Is there a direct train to the airport? C'è un treno diretto per l'aeroporto? What is the maximum speed of the train? Qual è la velocità massima del treno? What time does the station close? A che ora chiude la stazione? How can I get to the nearest subway station? Come posso arrivare alla metropolitana più vicina? And even metropolitana is 
quite a mouthful. So here you have two options. One is, as always, slow down and pronounces a few words by like more slowly. Metropolitana. Metropolitana. Or here's my quick trick. You can shorten this to metro. So we just drop the second half of the word. We just say la metro. That's also very common and acceptable in Italy. So you can also say come posso arrivare alla metro più vicina? Perfetto. Where can I find a taxi? Dove posso trovare un taxi? Molto bene. If you like this kind of videos and my videos in general, please consider subscribing and also enabling enabling the notifications for my for my videos. So click on subscribe and then click on the bell and select all. You need to take this second extra step if you want to be sure to receive a notification anytime I, I post a new video. That's all for today, guys. I hope these phrases and, were, and the explanations were helpful and I will see you in a new episode and in a new video. A presto. Ciao da Valentina.